Guy like that, and my mother wore him down to a little nub. He was a squeaking little gerbil when he died. When we are first introduced to the character of Tony Soprano, we can certainly tell that he has a love-hate relationship with his mother, as his mother, Livia, causes him to suffer with an immense amount of stress, anxiety, and is the cause of her very own son having sudden panic attacks and depression. But with all of this and more that we have learned about his mother throughout her time on The Sopranos, we never really learn much about Tony's infamous and legendary father in Johnny Boy Soprano. I always wondered what happened to him, specifically in the pilot episode when Tony says that his mother wore him down to a little nub. This is the fall that we never knew about in Johnny Boy Soprano. From inside the Sopranos universe, what we do know about Johnny Boy Soprano is the bare minimum. He, of course, was in the Mafia and married to Livia. They, of course, had three children, two girls in Janice and Barbara, and one boy in Tony. We also learned that he had his fair share of Gumars and at one point considered moving his family and leaving the Mafia. From the prequel Sopranos film, The Many Saints of Newark, we do get a little more information regarding the character of Johnny Boy, but we're still left wondering about this mysterious character even after the film's release. Johnny worked in the DeMeo crime family alongside his brother Junior, as both went on to become capos within the family. And while working within the DeMeo crime family, Johnny Boy was looked up to as a role model, specifically by Tony. But Johnny Boy also took other individuals under his wing along with Tony, as he groomed Silvio and Polly to be the stone-cold gangsters that we know today, as Polly and Johnny Boy often drove down to Florida on multiple occasions, as we would discover in the Remember When episode. From the beginning of The Sopranos, we can clearly tell that Tony was heavily influenced by his father, as he always discussed his father's habits, lifestyle, and old school worth ethic and mentality that Tony so desperately fell in love with, as he tried to incorporate his father's own work ethic into his own family. During the series, Johnny Boy was of course only shown in flashbacks that Tony had, as he looked back on his own childhood. These were episodes such as Down Neck, Fortunate Son, and In Camelot. These were instances where Tony was discovering for the first time who his father really was at a local carnival, seeing just how violent and ruthless his father truly was. This, of course, was the situations with Rocco Alatore and Mr. Satrial, where both individuals owed Johnny Boy some money. And we also learned the infidelities that Johnny Boy faced when Tony discovered one of his father's girlfriends in Fran Felstein in the In Camelot episode. Throughout these brief appearances, we can see what it was like in the Soprano family home growing up for Tony, and also his sisters. We can see and watch how Johnny Boy provided for his family and how he made a living, and we can see how violent he can become, but also how dishonest he can be at the same time. It's so ironic that these traits and characteristics that make up the character and role model of Johnny Boy Soprano are also represented in the character of Tony. As Tony too has his fair share of girlfriends throughout the series, is dishonest, can be cruel and violent when needs to be, and provides for his family with blood money. In the same way that his father did. In hindsight, Johnny Boy Soprano wasn't the greatest role model for anyone, as we saw Johnny Boy lie to Livia while she was having a miscarriage in the episode of In Camelot. And also, he made Tony force himself to lie to his very own mother. And this is something that Tony regrets to this day. The character of Johnny Boy and Tony are the exact same. An instance that stood out for Tony was when he saw his father cut off Mr. Satriali's pinky finger with a cleaver, as Mr. Satrial was a gambler who was avoiding Johnny by not giving him his payment. This startling scene was the cause of Tony's first panic attack, and it was later revealed that in a hit is a hit, that Johnny Boy too suffered from panic attacks as well. So we can see here in Tony's eyes that this big, masculine, and macho man of his father wasn't the man he thought out to be, as he too was suffering from panic attacks. But when we are shown Johnny Boy, we can see this masculine, angry, physical man that takes charge in the Soprano family home, as we learn that Johnny Boy was physically and mentally abusive towards his family. In the eyes of Tony, he always viewed his relationship with his father as a tight and close-knit one. However, it was later discovered in Remember When that Tony never really knew where he actually stood with his father on a relationship level. But throughout his many appearances in flashbacks and dream sequences, and his time shared on screen in the Many Saints of Newark film, it appears that Johnny Boy and his son's relationship wasn't as close as we all thought. Tony viewed and thought of his father as a great role model, and a leader he looked up to. 
However, he wasn't any of that. He was a compulsive liar who put himself over his wife and children. He valued money and women more than family life, as he would rather spend more time with his girlfriends like Fran Felstein than with his own family. He involved his very own children to be a part of his criminal activities. He did this by grooming his son to join the mafia and become a cold-blooded, narcissistic, and sociopathic murderer. And he even bribed Janice with a trip to the carnival so that he could indulge in more criminal activities. In many ways, Tony becomes a spitting image of his father, but Tony graciously doesn't get his children involved in his criminal activities like his father did, simply because he knows this life all too well. He's seen how the mafia breaks families apart, how toxic, dreadful, depressing, anxious, and stressful the mafia lifestyle can become, as he doesn't want this strain on his very own children. In terms of Livia wearing Johnny Boy down to a little nub, like Tony says in the pilot episode, my interpretation to that comment is something along the lines of Livia making Johnny feel guilty about his actions. The cheating, the lying, all eventually caught up to Johnny in the end. And later on, he eventually died of lung emphysema at 62 years old. When looking back on the character of Johnny Boy Soprano, he's remembered to be a fierce leader and someone the guys still talk about and reminisce on to this day. Which is odd because as the series went on and the many Saints of Newark released, we saw the true colors of Johnny Boy Soprano. We saw just how selfish he was towards his family by putting himself first and lying constantly, which ultimately made him to be less of a man than Tony always thought him out to be. As this ultimately drew Tony closer to a man like Uncle Junior, who in many ways became more of a role model and a father figure than his very own father. As we saw their relationship develop and grow throughout the course of the series and the prequel film, as Tony and Uncle Junior's relationship ultimately became close and tight-knit, much like he thought the relationship he had with his father. And because of the man that Johnny Boy truly was and turned out to be, it's no wonder that Tony grew closer to his Uncle Junior after all. What are your thoughts about the character of Johnny Boy Soprano? I would love to hear them down in the comment section below. For more Sopranos content, keep it locked here, right here on this channel, and be sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram, as the links will be in the description below, as well as my merchandise store linked below. For more Sopranos content, keep it locked here, right here on this channel.